It's been four days since Pearland police confirmed the body found at a small lake was a mother of three who had been missing for weeks. Tonight, friends and family gathered for a candlelight vigil to remember Erica Hernandez. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner joins us live near that lake where the event was held this evening. Rochelle. Jonathan Sion, while the visual ended about an hour ago, you can still see and feel just how loved Erica Hernandez was. From the day she was reported missing, her family never gave up on finding her. And while it wasn't the outcome that everyone wanted, today her life was honored. I just want to say thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here to celebrate my sister's life. It's been hard for the family of Erica Hernandez. It's still not real to us. I'm, you know, uh, I don't know how long it'll take for us to really realize it, but it's not real. Family, friends, and people from all over the Houston area stood in the rain and honored the life of Erica. She was a mother of three children, a sister, and a friend. She would always put us first, um, as any mother would. She really made sure she took care of us and we're really going to miss that about her. Earlier this week, Pearland police found Erica's body inside her SUV submerged in this retention pond in a Pearland community. The 40 year old had been missing since April 3rd. There was a homeless community that reached out to us. They didn't know we found her yet. A homeless community was trying to help us look for her. That's just how, how much everybody loved her. When I'm her three kids and sister placed this reef in the pond and hugged each other tight. May we have justice for her. And as the sun went down, dozens of people lit candles and remembered a life taken too soon. She's not here, but she is, you know, she'll live on through all of us. And you can still see this beautiful candlelight memorial that they have set up for Erica here at this uh, pond in Pearland. The family says they will have Erica's funeral sometime next week. And once her funeral is over, they're going to be focusing on what happened to her. That's the very latest. For now, reporting live from Pearland, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle, thank you.